What is up YouTube? Outdoor Core with another video. Welcome back to part two of Shanksbury. And last time I said this. You're probably wondering why is there a pillar right here in the middle of a creek? Well, it has to do with a tragic incident that took the lives of 11 men. But it didn't put it into the, the video because it was wrong information. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I got my information all mixed up like spaghetti and uh, forgot exactly which one was which. But today, we're going to be going to the tragic incident that happened here in Shanks Ferry with a dynamite factory that killed 11 men. And I'm going to tell you a little about that. Uh, so I actually had to come back here after that happened, after I got the wrong information. But... It, it happens, I mean, but anyway, what I did say was that this was the place where it happened, but <laughs> I got all mixed up. This actually right here was a building to the town that was over there, but it was made for a pipeline. Uh, it's up there, up right there is where the pipe is. I think I got that correct. Yeah, right there is where the pipe is for the pipeline. So they would use that pipeline. I'm not sure if it was water or gas or whatever it was. But this was kind of the pillar to keep that pipe kind of going this way to the town. And yeah, sorry about that. Uh, but we're going to be taking it to... The actual location of this tragic incident so we'll get you there i'll keep hiking and i hope you enjoy we're going to try and find a train coupling coupling if we can uh, i found out the location for it there's a train crash that happened and one of these cuff couplings went off and into the woods over here that's the thing i wanted to show you a little remnant of the past but there's also a train wreck that we could go to, but I'm going to save that for another video because I kind of want to, you know, space that out a little bit. But we're going to be going to this tragic incident. I'm going to hike there. It shouldn't take long, but I'm going to try to upload this video a little bit sooner than I usually do. I want to try and do it midweek around Wednesday uh, because, you know, I feel bad about giving you guys wrong information and having to cut that all out and make it into two parts. It was going to be a lot longer, but we're going to be giving you the right stuff today. So I came back for you guys because you guys deserve the best out of me and the best out of this information and these adventures. So keep watching and I hope you enjoy. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm using the trail today. I am going to keep my feet dry because last time they got super, super wet. That's really uncomfortable. Ooh. That's really funny. I've actually never been to this park before, but it is beautiful back here. As I walk down into this indentation right here, you can see that there's a wall of rock and stone and that used to be a dynamite factory. But on June 6, 1906, there was a tragic accident that took the lives of 11 men. For two years since 1904, dynamite had been manufactured, packed, and shipped from this location without any incident or accident at all. During this time, it was common to build a new dynamite factory about every one to two years. The exploding dust settles between floorboards and cracks and walls, priming the building for disaster and to ignite. And unfortunately, that may have been the cause 
of the June 9, 1906 eruption that happened at this dynamite factory, killing 11 men. Surviving workers who had witnessed this explosion saw that there were thousands of pounds of explosions that sat nearby. Those workers picked themselves up and began to push boxcars loaded with dynamite away from the roaring flames so there would be no further explosions. A few days later, there was a search for the bodies of 11 missing men. Unfortunately, it was a gruesome search. One worker said it reminded him of gathering chestnuts as there were little bits of flesh and bone all over the area. One man was found 300 yards away from the explosion site near the low grade railroad line lying in the grass. There was only one arm, a portion of the trunk, and half of the neck and face. The body was identified as Frederick Rice by his brother, who recognized him by a scar on the wrist. And these were the unfortunate men who died. The men highlighted red in this picture all died. And the men highlighted in yellow all were injured. This picture was taken about a month before the explosion. Four of the men in this picture died at the incident. Tuesday, June 12th, 1906. There was a funeral at Colemanville United Methodist Church. Fred Rice, or what was found of him, was buried in one casket. The remains of the other 10 men were put into one single grave. After the investigation of the explosion, there was a couple testimonies on what might have happened. Seeing a man place one box of dynamite on top of another, and as he did, saw a spark come out as the two boxes touched each other. One other person testified that some of the men who handled the dynamite often spoke in a bragging way to timid friends as what they could do with the dangerous stuff without exploding the dynamite. But the ultimate rule was that the 11 men came to death by accidental discharge of dynamite. But it is likely that no one will ever know what caused the tragedy. Alright guys, just want to give you one last look at the site. nice long pan right there and that is the tragic tale of the dynamite factory and that's kind of a one of the historical stories here in Lancaster Pennsylvania at Shanks Ferry and if you go down there it has a panel that kind of says when this dynamite incident happened but it's it's around 200 feet that way which uh, it's a little bit weird to me why they chose to put it 200 feet away from the actual site but I don't know, maybe there's something else that I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're not gonna be able to do that train coupling today, but I kinda wanna put that in the story with the, the Christmas train accident that happened over there because I wanna show more of that train that's right over there. So I'll have that for another video. But I hope you liked this one. I hope you liked the tragic tale and the shots and everything like that. Uh, if you have a comment, please comment below. Let me know how you like it and what else you want me to do. And if you haven't already, click subscribe and the notification button so you can get more of these videos if you like it. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I'll see you next time.